Hi North Plainfield, today I'm going to teach you guys how to edit a Screencastify using the premium features uh, in Screencastify, the editor, okay? I'm going to get rid of my face because I am seeing double and it's a little weird. So what I want to go through with you guys today is how to edit a Screencastify. So let's say you've just made your first Screencastify, or maybe it's your 50th, who knows, but you want to edit it a little bit more properly. What you would do is, and you have to have the premium features for this, you click on Open in Editor. Now even without premium features, there are some really basic edits you can do, um, like trimming the front, the, the, the beginning or trimming the end of the video, but the editor for the premium version is really, really cool uh, because it's got some excellent features. So what I did is I clicked on open an editor, and you'll notice it opened up a second screen. So we're just gonna play around in this screen right here. Now first, let's watch my video. It's only 37 seconds long, and I need to see what it is I want to edit or trim from this clip. So let's watch the whole thing in its entirety, and then we'll go through and play. Hi North Plainfield, this is gonna be a really meta video. Uh, I'm making a Screencastify right now, that I'm now about to edit in Screencastify Editor, and I'll be making a Screencastify about editing this Screencastify. How weird is that? Anyway, there are a bunch of different features. I'm going to be going through all of them. I'm going to be playing around with all this list, adding text, deleting segments. You can delete this section right here. And uh, hopefully at the end of this, you will feel comfortable editing your screencast supplies. Bye! Man, wouldn't it be cool if I could delete this end part so it didn't look kind of awkward that I'm taking my time to go in here and... Okay, so that was my entire video. Now, did I need to get rid of anything in the beginning? Let's take a look. The best way to tell is just to bring this little, uh, hopefully you can see it, it's kind of white. If you hover over your thing here, you can see that it's counting, or rather you can see the timer on the right-hand side moving to where in my video I am. I think my video started off pretty good. Let's see. Let's see if I need to fix anything about the beginning. Uh, now, in order to check, you kind of hover over where you want to start, and you can click on the play button. Hi, North Plainfield. Nah, that was pretty good. I started off right away, so I don't feel the need to trim anything in the beginning. Now, there was a part in the middle, I remember, where I told myself to cut this, or maybe I had a laughing attack, or maybe I just stumbled over something, I don't want to get rid of it. So let's find where about that was, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use some of these tools right here. Uh, I think it was around here? Let's find out. Playing around with all of this, adding text, deleting segments, you can don't... Ah, it was here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to the beginning of this segment because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here, the cut tool, to create a separation in my presentation. So I'm going to go to the beginning and cut right before where I told myself to delete. Deleting segments. Okay, let's try to get it before I put my hands up. How about right there? And I'm going to cut it here. And let's just make sure I like that se separation. Deleting segments. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the end of the segment I want to cut, and I'm going to pause again. You can delete this section right, right here. Let's do there. It'll be a little bit awkward jumping from whatever face I was on to whatever face I'm going to be after, but this is the section I don't like and I'm going to cut. Notice how I just cut it twice before the segment and right after the segment, and now I've got this separate piece in the middle. Let's watch it to make for sure that's what I want to take out. Deleting segments. You can... Oh, I think I did that wrong. Let's see. Text deleting segments. You can delete this section right here. That's the part I want to delete. Uh, hopefully at the end. Okay, that's the part I want to break right there. So I'm going to cut that. Let's rewatch just this segment to make sure this is the one I don't want. You can delete this section right here. Yep, I want to take that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this clip. I'm going to click on the little delete can, and it is gone. Let's watch it. It might look a little bit weird. We can always try playing around and trimming it later. Next, deleting segment, and... Uh, yeah, that was a little weird. Let's see if we can get rid of that weird half wink that I do. I'm going to trim it again. That was the one I didn't want. And gone. Let's see how that looks now. Text, deleting segments, and uh, uh, hopefully at the end of this, you... How much better is that, right? I got rid of the weird part I didn't want. So that what I did there is I used the cut tool to cut my uh, to cut my film into pieces and then I just cl clicked on the part I didn't want and I just hit delete. Another thing that you can do is you can crop. I'm not going to do this, but if you wanted to crop the screen and maybe crop out the top bar and crop out the bottom bar so it's just the middle of your screen, you could do that as well. And then the last part is you can add text. So what you would have to do for that is you'd have to trim the cl the clip, whatever 
clip is here by itself is where the text will go. So if I put a tiny text thing on this weird little clip I have here, you can bold it, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can change the text color, you can change the background color. I really wanna make it pop. You can change the font. They don't have that many options, but there's a few options for you. I can make it really, really big. I can center it on the page. I can put it on the top, the middle, or the bottom of the page. Let's see how this looks. I just made all of these changes. So let's watch before that clip. You'll see on that clip now, there's a T for a text box. And then after the clip, it goes away. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to be playing around with all the lists, adding text, deleting segments, and uh, uh, hopefully at the end of this, you... So there you go. I clipped off a little section where I wanted some text, and then at the end of that section, the text went away. Now, I remember at the end, I think I wanted to delete some of it because I was finished with my video, and it took me a couple like couple seconds to, to end the video, so let's do that. Right after I wave goodbye, let's clip out the end there. Bye! Okay, before I look down. How about right there? Perfect. Now, there's two ways I can do this. Either I can grab this, and I could trim the bottom out, just like that. And then your screen castifies. Bye! Or what I could have done also is the same trick I did before, where I cut where I wanted to end that clip, selected the clip I wanted to get rid of, and deleted it. So once I'm done with my finished product, it's the best idea to watch it again. I'm not going to subject you to more of my randomness, but you could always watch it again. Make sure it is as nice as you want it to be. You will see your new trimmed section here. Another cool feature of the Pro Editor is you can click on this plus sign here to add a clip. Let's say for some reason it malfunctions and you have two different ones that you want to stitch together or you want to do a longer one and then you added something after the fact and you want to add it in, you can click on add clip and you can add a clip that's found in your drive or found that you downloaded and you can upload. So that's pretty cool as well. You can add things and then combine two or more uh, videos together. When you're all done with this, please make sure you either download this or you add this to your drive. I'm going to download this because I might want to upload this to YouTube later. I'm going to call this um, an edited screencastify. I'm going to hit download. It'll process my video. Downloading the video will process it much, much faster than if you were going to send it to Drive. So if time is of the essence, I recommend downloading it and then uploading it. Um, and that goes that video. So this is how you would edit using the editor software in Screencastify. It's pretty rudimentary. There's an undo in case you make a mistake. There's a redo in case you want to fix that again. There's a cut, there's a crop, there's text, there's deleting sections, and you can add and, and kind of combine things together. You can also drag and drop. So let's say I want to move this clip to the beginning, I could do that. All right, so you can drag and drop things around as well, which is pretty cool. Like I said, it's rudimentary, but if at the end it annoys you that you took an extra 10 seconds to turn off the screencastify, it's something you can always edit. If you guys have any questions, please reach out at any time. Uh, NPTechies at nplainfield.org and make sure you check out our website for more tutorials. I'm going to leave this ending in. This is purposeful, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and please reach out if you have any issues whatsoever.